it's Leslie Meredith with Break Bulk Events and Media. I'm talking today with E. Katerina Andriva, Commercial Director for Volga Dnieper. Welcome. Hello. Hello. It's so good to see you. We haven't seen you since our European Women's Panel. Yeah, I know. It's been a while. Yes. Happy to be back. Yeah, well, I'm happy to see you here. Uh, Volga Dnieper is a big part of our upcoming uh, Europe Digital Special, which will happen next week in the time slot that was earmarked for um, Break Bulk Europe, the conference. Clearly, we're not doing that, but I think the lineup of webinars that we have put together will be a super great replacement. Uh, Volga Dnieper is sponsoring the very first One Business Outlook how the project cargo sector is adapting to the new normal. So I've invited Ekaterina here this morning to give us a little bit of a preview. So tell us, um, as we haven't talked to you in just about the full period since the pandemic started, um, how has that impacted your business over the last six months? So, well, First of all, as, as everyone understands, the pandemic hits all the businesses with the uh, logistics uh, being no exception. Although um, for us this year has been, um, I can't say a good year because there have been some challenges, but uh, from the growth perspective, it has been uh, not the worst year. Uh, we were always there for our customers and uh, we were able to increase all our key like performance indicators. So uh, we normally measure our business by tonnage, by the number of flights performed and the cargo turnover. And uh, all of that has been um, up uh, comparing to the, uh, to, the last, to the period of last year. Uh, so industry-wise, if we look at different industries, then uh, obviously we have experienced the biggest surge um, in the uh, humanitarian sector. Um, while and uh, when I when I say humanitarian, I mean it's COVID-related cargo. So it's obviously PPE um, and uh, smaller like general cargo, which is obviously not um, heavy and outsized, but if we compare such industries as uh, aerospace and uh, oil and gas, then uh, still those industries, it still have grown, despite like despite everything that's happened, uh, those industries, they still have grown if we compare it with, in the, with the previous years. And I think this is fantastic and uh, it really brings hope to the um, uh, Project Cargo community that uh, it's not that bad as everyone is saying, it's, it's actually, uh, I can't say it's good, but uh, it's, it's not really bad. And uh, I think uh, I think it's, it's going to be even better. Well, that is good. And you have now jumped to my last question. And it's interesting. I just heard from um, one of the big forwarders in Houston that uh, a lot of big uh, contracts are coming in, requests for proposals. So um, I, it sounds to me like we're seeing that around the world. Yeah, exactly. Um, we we do we do look at 2021 with uh, with some sort of sort of optimism because we believe that our after 2020 the things uh, might get to this uh, um, new normal, as everyone is saying, and uh, we look optimistic and um, we we are sure that the major industry projects will be uh, reinitiated, uh, like restarted, in in case that they were stopped in uh, 20, uh, 2020, all will keep on working like on a full scale. Um, so we do believe that the project logistics will 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 stay with the high expectations uh, of um, from the quality perspective. Um, and uh, we have our company has just um, had our 30th anniversary and uh, we do hope that our company will continue bringing those uh, this expertise and knowledge uh, to the to the project market, um, and we we also think that um, the pandemic opened uh, another door of um, opportunities for our logistics solution, which previously were used only for outsized and heavy cargoes, and we are now open to new industries, and uh, we are um, we are being flexible to the other means of cargo as well. Absolutely. Well, that is good news, and. 
I, I, I'm surprised in a way to hear about this optimism. You know, I think after the months of upheaval and dis disruptions, you know, you get a little leery that, you know, that things maybe are going to uh, be tough for a longer period of time. So it's very exciting to hear that, hear the optimism from you and from others. And we look forward to hearing more of that. Let's see, we'll have you next Tuesday on the 29th at, um, uh, let's see, what are you, two, four, two o'clock in the afternoon, London time. So that is fantastic. And I want to thank you for your sponsorship for that session as well. We would like to thank Breitbulk for organizing it. We think it's it's really crucial that the community stays together, especially now while we can't have face-to-face -face meetings. And I think it's really important that we all get in touch and we share our like knowledge and expertise between all the players. So thank you very much, Breitbulk, for organizing it. Absolutely. All right. Well, I will see you next week. Good talking to you. See you next week. All right. Bye.